You ready? Um, besides Crazy Ray's impacting my life for the last eight years, I set up bought this house in 1975 and the snowplow has been hitting it. Well, that's not the only thing that's been hitting it. Complaint. Complaint, complaint, complaint. From planning and zoning. They keep wanting to rebuild Move your finger. <laughs> um, I tried to put up a swing set back in 76 for my kids. They told me I needed sprinkler systems, I needed a settlement pond, I needed environmental impact studies, I needed to have uh, meetings to see if the community would allow me to put up a swing set. I said, well, how big a settlement pond, because I wouldn't mind having a little pond of fish. They said, it has to be a half acre. Well, I own a quarter acre. I said, where in the hell can I put a half acre pond to put up a swing set if I only own a quarter acre? They've hit me constantly, month after month, year after year, about everything. They outlawed my business in 98 and took my license away, my appliance business. They outlawed my car repair in 99. I told them to go to hell on taking my license away. How can you pass a law, a zoning law, one night with the county council and the next day send these boys out. One of them is called Steve Laverty and another one is Anthony LaRouche, LaRose of uh, Planning and Zoning that are worse than gangsters, the mob, with their threats that they can bulldoze down your house anytime they want because you were not allowed to replace a section of wall that had rotted out or was termite infested in your storefront or in the backyard or anywhere. Um, now they're telling me it's been law for 50 years that I'm not allowed to have firewood dumped next to my house. I burn firewood to save oil. And a lot of other veterans that do tree service bring me the maple and the cherry and all the other brands of wood. They keep the oak to sell, but they even cut it up for me pretty good so it fits in my wood stove. And since I have arthritis and wake up 10 times a night, it's only 15 foot to keep my stove going so I don't go through a couple thousand gallons of oil a year to heat this barn. How ridiculous can you get? They keep rezoning all the properties on Route 1 with this master plan that they've spent millions of dollars analyzing since 1977 and they've never lived up to it. Whatever the builders want, they let happen. Whatever the developers want, they let happen. I mean, it's, the rules keep changing if you give a lot of campaign contributions. Mm -hmm. They told me nothing could be built on my property for a 125 foot setback, which eliminates all my buildings. All my buildings must be torn down if I leave it to my kids and my will. They would be hit with a humongous bill from the county of removing everything instead of getting an inheritance. I had a fire in my chimney in 75. They told me my house was condemned two months after I bought it, even though it didn't damage my house. It water damage and smoke damage, but no fire damage in my actual structure of my house. But they told it was condemned. They condemned my home three times totally now. They told me I'm not allowed to have appliances within 150 foot of Route 1. That's been lost since 1947. Uh, they keep quoting these laws from after World War II. And they were non-existent. Firewood is not being allowed to be dumped next to your house on Route 1 since World War II. There used to be hundreds of homes on Route 1, and most of the people burnt fire, uh, firewood for heat back then. To say that the law has been there, they refuse to tell me who keeps turning me in. Steve Laverty said he was just driving by. He is a delegate to Maryland District 42 in Annapolis. He just got reelected with a landslide. He is a gangster. Uh, coming out defrauding people like me of their property rights and their personal rights 
to live without encroachment of the government. What are we going to do about this? Nobody's willing to vote anymore. Nobody cares anymore to check out politicians. We have to stop this of all of Route 1 and all of Howard County. Little farms in Columbia has tried to set up vegetable stands in the summer so they can make more money off their little crops, which have been outlawed. They just keep trying to drive all of us non-conforming to the liberals' viewpoint out of our homes and off of our properties so their friends, the builders and developers, that give them a lot of campaign money to get the property for pennies on the dollar. We have to stop this. I remember Columbia, all these liberals moved in. Socialist community. A commune. And with all of these community associations, it's going to keep it the status quo. But then busybodies started taking over the community associations and passing all kind of new rules and regulations. And these so-called left-wing liberals said, wait a minute, you're taking away my rights now and got and most of the original residents have gone to Carroll County or Pennsylvania or Harper County now because they could they can't live with the new rules and regulations, all these busybodies and community associations all around Columbia has said. It's just ridiculous. Uh, especially for a veteran that fought for our freedoms in Vietnam. It was decorated three times with outstanding service medals to come home and can't live in peace between the snow plows breaking out my front windows, the planning and zoning people here threatening me with $500 a day fines like they wanted me to put up a stockade fence one year or they would find me to hide my appliances and the next year they told me it was up illegally if I didn't have it down 24 hours they're going to find me $500 a day and then the next year they told me I was illegally using the lot I rented to store appliances on. It wasn't zoned for that even though it was zoned heavy commercial but then it was zoned light commercial then light industrial and then heavy industrial and then CE I mean, they can't get, make up their damn mind what they want to zone Route 1. It never works out. It just costs the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars for all of these uh, review boards and our companies to analyze the situation and for the county to have all these hearings to approve all this new Route 1 development plans. Let the people build. Let the people develop. Let the people bring business back in. Stop taxing us to death and planning and zoning us to death with all of these sub-zoning laws of A-32-C-40 that they add on to commercial property. That you're not allowed to do this particular thing like have firewood next to your property. I'm having trouble heating my house now because I can't get firewood dumped. Nobody wants to fight my driveway and get in my backyard where it's hard to turn around to dump the firewood. It costs me too much money to have people bring it back up and stock it in my store. I'd rather just buy oil. This has been a nightmare. That's why I have a book at Ray Bly, R A Y B L Y dot com, titled Born Screwed in the USA. From growing up in the ghetto of DC a lot of my childhood, having the worst schools, the worst environment, sleeping in cars, sleeping on the sidewalk, going to job poor to get my GED. I do have college now. Uh, to buying my own home after serving in a war, a combat veteran to find out I can't live, I, I haven't lived my life in peace since I bought this house in 75. The first place I've been able to call my home my whole life. What do you think? Send me your comments. And we gotta stop this abuse of the left-wing liberals 
or trying to design our life the way they want you to do it. Thank you. Amen.